to compare the forming capacity of different samples of soap. Materials required Four different samples of soaps Distilled water Electronic balance Four test tubes Four beakers 100 ml Four glass rods A measuring cylinder and a measuring scale 15 centimeters and a cutter knife take four labeled 100 ml beakers take beaker A put the A beaker on the electronic weighing balance and the weighing balance shows the weight of the empty beaker use the tear button to show a reading 0, 0.00 gram and add soap A into the beaker by making it a small piece using a cutter knife until the electronic balance shows a 1 gram reading and repeat the steps for B, C and D. Using a measuring cylinder, add 20 ml of distilled water to all the soap samples from the beaker containing distilled water. Dissolve the soap in water by stirring the mixture with a glass rod. Take a test tube stand, place the four test tubes and label them as tubes A, B, C and D. Pour 1 ml each of the above prepared soap solutions using a measuring cylinder in the corresponding test tubes. Add 5 ml of distilled water from the 250 ml beaker to each test tube using a measuring cylinder. Take the test tube labeled test tube A and shake it 10 times by placing the thumb on its mouth. Repeat the steps with the remaining three samples of soap solutions. By shaking, the test tube will form the foam. Using a measuring scale, measure the length of the foam produced. When soap reacts with hard water, it forms a scum by responding with the salts of magnesium and calcium ions. The scum is insoluble and floats on the surface of the water. Calcium and magnesium ions in hard water produce curdy white precipitates of calcium and magnesium salts of fatty acids. The presence of calcium and magnesium salts in water precipitates the soap, reducing its cleansing power and hence forming capacity.